it. <laughs> Hey you crazy kids, it's me, I'm back, how's it going? My name is Brianna and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a video that I am very excited to film. Today I'm going to be reviewing Halsey's new makeup line, AF94. She already has another makeup line that is called About Face and I actually, it's a much more expensive makeup line, although they recently dropped their prices. I personally really, really love that makeup line and a lot of their products are very near and dear to my heart. If you don't know who Halsey is, she's just a singer and I've been a fan of her since like middle school, ever since the Ep days. She recently <laughs> released another makeup brand that is exclusive to one. Walmart and the AF94 website and it is called AF94. It's called AF94 because her real name is Ashley Frangipani and so AF are her initials and then 94 she was born in 1994 so AF94 is where it came from. Although I was actually in Florida um, at my house that I have in Florida, well, this brand came out. I They didn't have it at any of the Walmarts in Florida, and then I looked at the Walmarts um, here where I live when I got home. I saw no luck. So I went to the AF94 website. Well, I was on the beat. I, like, looked, I looked online. You know how, like, it tells you if it's in stock at certain Walmarts. Um, I looked, and I didn't see it. So while I was on the beach in Florida, I ordered a few products from the AF94 website. Now, of course, I had no idea that I was going to be doing a video. Like, I didn't even really think about doing a video when... I was ordering this stuff so like I got mostly lip products by accident if I knew that I was gonna be doing a video I probably would have ordered a little bit more of a variety of products but I figured I would do a review anyways there are a few products that I didn't pick up that I did want to purchase such as the um, like bolt cream blush stick for example the shadow um, boxer um, eyeshadow like pen things if that's how you describe it I don't really know but they're like you know eyeshadow thingies and um also the mascara that comes in various colors i was going to get it in purple but i didn't end up buying it and i think that's pretty much the only products that i really wanted that i didn't really get to pick up the whole point is this entire brand is all under ten dollars which means it's very very affordable and it's also meant to be extremely beginner friendly and another thing i would like to mention is i will be comparing a lot of these products to about face beauty just because it's made by the same person so that is why I'm comparing most of this stuff to About Face Beauty. And with that, let's get straight into this video. The first product I'm going to be reviewing is the eyeliner. This is called the Backline Liquid Eyeliner, and I got it in the shade Laundry Day, which is a white shade. Now, this is not an eyeliner pen. Obviously, this is a pot. There are different forms of eyeliner. Now, About Face Beauty actually doesn't have a liquid eyeliner. They do have gel eyeliners, which I use. I use both gel and liquid. I'm actually wearing some gel Ulta Beauty gel eyeshadow on my eye I mean gel eyeliner on my eyes right now but most of the time I do use liquid eyeshadow this is just a liquid what oh my god this is a liquid white eyeshadow and I quite liked the formula of this eyeshadow oh my god eyeliner I can't, I'm sorry if I keep calling your eyeshadow here it is don't worry about this this is just um, a lip stain that I was trying and it stained my hand because I'm stupid and didn't really think about the fact that it would stain my hand um so here it is swatched. It's a quite nice eyeliner and the brush is very, very precise. I did a really fast wing when I got this in the mail the other day and I did such an amazing wing and it was so easy. And I think that this is a really beginner friendly eyeliner. Something to keep in mind, I don't usually, I usually buy like the liquid eyeliner pens that are essentially like a marker that have a constant flow of eyeliner. All you have to do is shake it if you think it's kind of running a little bit low. Whereas these eyeliner pots, I have a few of them that I don't really use that often. I have a few other eyeliner pots that are kind of like this, but I don't have that many for one reason. I don't prefer, I don't really care, but I do prefer the pens rather than the little pots because I'm talking about eyeliner. All y'all people who think I'm talking about drugs, I'm talking about eyeliner. I know it sounded wrong, but just go with it. The problem is, is once you're applying it and it's kind of drying out, it's not because the formula is bad, it's because you have to dip it back in for some more eyeliner. And that's just something to keep in mind, and I'm not really used to that since I don't really use the pots as much anymore. Um, but I used to use um, ones like this all the time, and I would constantly have to keep dipping it back in. So that's something to keep in mind. So maybe if you're a beginner, you might want to grab an eyeliner pen. Instead, they are a little bit easier to work with because they have a constant flow of ink similar to a marker rather than something like this, which I guess could be similar to a paintbrush, whereas if it's running out, you dip it back into the paint. So that's something to keep in mind. This product, how much was this eyeliner? Let's take a look. This product was $8, and I think that this is a good product for only $8. If you do want an eyeliner pen, I recommend the NYX eyeliner pen, and it's only $10, but I think that this is a great eyeliner, and it also comes in various shades. 
It comes in various color options, and I think this is very beginner friendly, especially if you want to experiment with a little bit more color, and I highly recommend this product. The next product I'm going to be reviewing is the Scribble Stick Glossy Lip Crayon. This is kind of like a bullet lipstick, and again, About Face does not have any bullet lipsticks, they only have liquid lipsticks. This product retails for... Yes, this retails for $8, and I have it here in the shade Keeping Secrets. It's like a pinky nude. I actually just use it in one of my more recent... The recent video that I posted. This one will get posted after that video in the color wheel episode yellow. I used this lipstick and it's a very natural glossy lipstick and I actually really like it. When I first opened the package I was surprised at how small it is. It is quite small and I know that it was only eight dollars but I mean still it is it's it's small but I mean it's not bad. Another weird thing that I noticed is there's no way for it to like you know, move up like like a lipstick would. It doesn't do that, which I, for some reason, I thought it would. I don't really know why, but I thought it would. I don't really buy lip crayons that much. So I don't know if lip crayons are supposed to do that. As far as I know, I don't think they are. But like, I'm just confused as to what happens when it gets down low. Do I just throw it away or like, I'm confused. It was very small and I wasn't that impressed at first sight, but once I tried it and I swatched it, I was actually very impressed. Here it is on my hand. It's a very glossy, very sheer. Although I chose a more natural color, they do have less um, wearable options, shall we say. They have less natural colors. Um, this product, I don't know if I 100% recommend it. I think that maybe there are some better options. But um, on the website, out of this entire collection, I think there are some better options that you could definitely go with. But this one is not bad. So if you did want to buy this, I think that you could. I think that if this is something that you think that you will like, then absolutely buy it. But like if you're kind of unsure on it like I was, I would probably recommend maybe purchasing something else instead of this because it's not my favorite product of the whole bunch. The next product I think is a product that most people got from this collection. This is the Plead the, the Fifth in one face mist. It's just a very small, it's a cute like setting spray I believe. It's also kind of like the Mario Badescu spray you know what I'm talking about. Like you can also use it to refresh your makeup and also I think if you have no makeup on you can kind of use it to refresh your face during the day. It doesn't smell like anything. None of these things are really scented I noticed which I mean they're under ten dollars so what can you really expect? I also like that this face mist is pink and I don't know if it's the face mist or the bottle. It might be the bottle that's colored, but still at least it's fun and colored. I actually do like this. I think that it makes your makeup look really good. This is $7, so definitely one of the cheaper items. I think it is definitely worth it, although it is a small amount. I think it will be good for traveling because of the fact that it's a small amount. I think it's perfect for setting in your makeup and it looks really glowy and I honestly highly recommend it. All you have to do is when you get it, it is like obviously separated. It looks a little bit weird right now because I just used it but it's like separated so you just have to shake it and then spray it shake it and spray it. that's fun to say i would like to see somebody call like a setting spray where you have to shake it shake it and spray it i don't highly recommend this product but i do recommend it if you like if you don't really use setting spray then you don't really need this product it's not like oh my god i need this it's so unique and amazing but it is a pretty good product so i think that if you wanted to pick it up i think that you definitely should this next thing is, again, something that About Face Beauty does not have. The past five, I feel like I'm saving the two things that I know About Face Beauty does have for last. I just did by accident. These are the lashes in the style 3. They have different styles. I don't know the names. These lashes retail for $5, so they are the cheapest thing in this whole collection, which $5 for a new pair of lashes is quite nice. I love the packaging on this. It's really pretty. I like when lashes, I hate when they have, like, the big, like, you know, like, on top. It also comes with pretty detailed instructions on how to apply lashes. If you didn't know like how to use lashes, it comes with really nice detailed instructions that even tells you, oh yeah, trim them and never take them off by the hair. It's just basic instructions for lashes, which I think is a really great thing, especially for a brand that's meant to be beginner friendly. I think that that's a really great thing because a lot of lashes just tell you to put glue and stick it on your eye, which is not really how you apply lashes. Um, I mean, it technically is, but you, you know, there's other steps to it. And I think that that's a really great thing, especially for a brand that's meant to be very beginner friendly because someone, if this brand is beginner friendly and a beginner is purchasing it, the person probably does not really know how to apply lashes because I didn't start applying lashes till I think I started high school, which wasn't that long ago, but still. And it can be quite hard to learn lashes. So I really like these detailed instructions. I also really like the quality of these lashes. They are very nice. So I highly recommend the lashes. I think that they are quite nice. They have three different style options, by the way. They have ones that are very, very natural that go just on the outer 
Holy shit, okay. They go just on the outer corner of your eye, and then they have a little bit more natural ones that go all the way across, and they have these ones that are huge and very, very big and very, very glam. So they have a few, they have many different options. So if you're kind of looking for in the middle of glam and natural, they have that. If you want really natural, they have that. And if you want really glam, they have this. The next, the final two products, like I said, I didn't really get that much, but if you guys want to see me review more, I will pick up some more products. Um, the final two products are two things that About Face does have. Um, this product is my, this product is the Majorly Matte, Matte Liquid Lip. And I got mine in the shade Just One Night, and it's like a brown mauve shade. It's a really beautiful shade. It's very unique, so I don't know how much I'll be using it, but I really love it. I am so impressed with this lip with this liquid lipstick formula. And it is kind of similar to the About Face liquid lipstick, but I feel like I like it more for some reason. I swatched these two things. I swatched the liquid lipstick next to this one, next to one of my About Face liquid lipsticks, and they definitely looked and felt the same. Um, I don't have the About Face products down here with me. I should have brought them, but I don't have them down here with me to compare. I feel like you might get a little bit more in this. Also, for when I took this out of the package, when I received it, it's actually quite heavy. I feel like you do get a lot of product in this. Let me just swatch it for you. Here we go. It's a beautiful color. It's super pigmented, and it's super matte, and I actually put this on last night, and I wore it for a really long time just to, like, test it out. And it's not super drying. It stays on. It stayed on really, really well, and I was actually, like, drinking water the whole time. You know, I was doing things to test out the lipstick, and it stayed on really, really well. And I'm honestly very, very impressed with this formula. I think this is $9. This is a $7 liquid lipstick. So considering the formula, it's very, very impressive. And I think this liquid lipstick formula is going to go among some of my favorite liquid lipsticks. I am honestly so impressed with this formula. And I highly, highly recommend this product. And I will definitely, definitely, definitely be purchasing more of this in the future. And like I said, it feels pretty similar to the About Face Liquid Lipstick, which I really, really love as well. So now I know that I can get the same kind of formula for a little bit cheaper. So yeah, I highly, highly recommend this product at more than anything in this video. And I will definitely be purchasing this in some more colors. It's absolutely amazing. The final product is, again, one of my favorite products from this little haul that I have. This is the Give em Lip High Shine Lip Gloss in the shade Do You See It? It's just a clear shade. I don't know if you all know, I love lip gloss and lip oils. I action in my little drawer. I have a huge drawering thing that I keep. I moved my makeup yesterday and I bought a huge thing of drawers and I, each drawer is like a different type of makeup and I have my own drawer for lip glosses because I have so much lip gloss. It's insane. Um, lip oils and lip gloss are like some of my most favorite things and I'm glad that they're becoming, they were becoming popular like right before COVID hit but then obviously we had to wear masks so they kind of fell out but I'm glad that they're becoming popular again because I love lip gloss. I'm wearing lip gloss right now. I'm wearing some L'Oreal plumping lip gloss and I, I just love lip gloss. So I knew that I would have to pick this up. One of my favorite lip gloss formulas is the About Face lip gloss formula. I don't have it down here with me to compare. I forgot to bring all of it and I do not want to go back upstairs. I do get a lot more. The About Face lip gloss I think retails for about 16 I know that I got the lip gloss before they lowered their prices so I got it for $20 and it smells really good. It smells like super lemony and it smells really nice and it's also a very thick formula. It stays on really well and it's also super hydrating and it literally it stays on for hours. I was happy to say that this formula is very similar. Although it doesn't have the scent, I don't really care about that. I'll do, although I do like it, I don't really care. This one, it does have the same thick formula that stays on for hours, but the applicator is a little bit different, actually. The applicator is a little bit more bendy. See how it kind of bends a little bit? The About Face applicator does not do that. I don't personally care about the applicator. That's not something I care about, but I know that some people care about the applicator. It's not a super sticky gloss and most of the glosses are really sticky. It's not super sticky. I just love this formula and although yes you do get less in the um, cheaper version, um, it's still the same formula. So if you've, always wanted, if you've always wanted to try the About Face Lip Gloss, I think that you should just get this because it's the same thing except for the scent and you obviously get less. And the packaging is not as cool but still who cares. The lip gloss retails for $8 and I think that that is a great price for such an amazing lip gloss. I have the About Face Lip 
lipstick blast in the shade, in the like clear shade as well. I think it's called Not All At Once. If I got that right, I'll be very impressed. I have that, so I decided to get it in the same shade so I could kind of compare, and I'm honestly so impressed. I love this. And I honestly like how small it is because it's very easy to put into your pocket or your purse because I have a very small purse. I like smaller purses. So yeah, I highly recommend this product. Anyways, that was the end of today's video. I know it was a very quick video, and I know I didn't really have that many products to review, and I know most of them were lip products, but if you guys want to see a part two of this, then I will purchase some more products that I didn't get to purchase the first time, and I will do a review little part two for you guys. Um, I really enjoy this collection. I think you guys should check it out. I also think that you should check out the regular About Face as well because their products are just as good, but of course, if you can't afford it, AF94 is always here to help you out. And as always, I hope you crazy kids enjoyed today's video. Please comment down below what you guys would like to see from me next. I love hearing your guys' amazing ideas. And as always, I will see you crazy kids in my next video. Bye. Thank you.